Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In previous video I was setting up a Mosquito MQTT broker with basic uh, configuration which is not encrypted and not passworded and basically I says you're not supposed to use this kind of configuration outside of your local network. Uh, that configuration basically didn't stop you to using it for outside of your network but if you have everybody have firewall in a, in the lab in the home whatever and all those ports which we use for example we use port 1122 is usually closed so basically if you don't open that port no one will be, will be able to connect to this broker or see what what you're doing with this broker so basically in this video I would like to show you why you shouldn't be doing this. So I got the same broker which works with password and on port 1122 is not encrypted. Then I got another configuration. Let me show you. This is the configuration of this broker. For port 1124 is encrypted, fully encrypted. So this broker is password protected and this broker is no, not password protected, it's separate broker and works on port 1123. So basically what I can do, I got pfSense and I have function of pa packet capture. So I'm going to be scanning my LAN 0 which is the LAN which is connected to the broker is the IP address and the port we're gonna be scanning first the not encrypted and password protected so <coughs> let me clear it first so now it's capturing the packets that should be enough we got a couple of them So now this is the packets. This is the packet from the broker to the client. And as you can see, password test, this is the topic, port, Wireshark C capture YouTube. This is the string what was injecting to that to that node. So let me try to capture this one now, 1124 and now you can see it's TLS version 1.2 encrypted so once I click I can't see absolutely anything just some signs next one next one it wouldn't be read what is on it including the password of course uh, I can show you as well this one 1123 maybe this is kind of waste of time it's, it's exactly the same as as this one you can basically see, can see it through what what the the client is sending to the broker so basically when we see this capture we can see all but you think you don't see the password so some of you may think oh just can see the guy can see only my data so what i'm sending i send some temperatures or something like this not important it's okay no it's not okay because he can see your password basically what the client what 
what the client do, sending the password only once, and does it when attempt to connect, when it does the handshake with the broker. Once that handshake go past, it wouldn't be doing this. So let me show you how that works. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna disconnect it first. Is disconnected. I go to my PS Sense. Change the port. I will start capture and now I'm gonna reconnect. And let me see the capture now. So going each one by one. And there you go. This is not red. The ID of the client. And then custom is the client name. And automation is the password. So just to show you. Username custom, password automation. You basically can't see, but this is what it is. Okay, so you may say they won't be able to see my password, they can be able to see my data, and basically once my client is always connected, they won't be able to get my password out, because it only does it when it's reconnecting. So, no, unfortunately you're wrong, because it's very easy to break up that connection, it's a special tool, so it will force the client to lose the connection and reconnect again and then get that password when it's attempting to reconnect so unfortunately that's how it is so okay some of you guys will say again okay not too bad what if he used that he connected the broker what he gonna do he will send some information well yeah basically usually they're not interested of your of your data then don't try to break into your broker or your, or your server to get the information they usually they try to use your server or broker or whatever to do something for them and then worst case scenario you pay for this it will slow down of your your service and then worst case scenario they probably will do something nasty maybe use uh, for spam some people or maybe illegal activity as well. So I will highly not recommend to use this kind of configuration. In next video, I will show you how to set up encrypted connection like this one. And once you watch that video through, you should be able to set up that encrypted connection simple way, basic way in probably about 10 to 20 minutes. So I don't see a reason why not to do it this way. So I hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next video.